Hello there, and welcome back to Finding the Limits of Dishonored 100%. This episode will focus on the Outsider Intermission and the Mission High Overseer Camp. In the last episode, it was suggested that a time comparison to world record on screen might be useful, and so I will be showing a spreadsheet between missions and a timer during missions. However, as this Outsider recording was from before I decided to do this, it will not have a time comparison to world record on screen as the mission plays. I've also taken the luxury of speeding up any long cutscenes as I decided if I don't want to watch them, no one else probably wants to watch them either. This split is very similar to any percent, however, Unlike intro, it is not identical, and so I could not take their time value as a representation of what a very good run would be. However, I had neither the time nor patience to grind out a very good outsider split, and so you're watching a 332, which was my best attempt in 45 minutes or so of attempts. A slight amount has changed, and that's why I'm showing it to you, so that we can go over it. As we come down to Piero now, we see the first change in this mission. While I buy quite well here, I neglect to buy spring raises and grenades in favour of buying combat sleep dart, which allows us to sleep dart people much quicker and effectively gives us an insta-kill. This blink pathing at the end is what we've been doing in any percent for a short while, but is now what we will also be doing in 100%. As you can see, we are now just about 17 seconds ahead of the world record. Because of the way I record these, you'll not be able to see a live comparison to world record. However, in the top right, you'll be able to see a comparison to world record for each screen of the mission, which will update at the end of each screen, so you can keep track of how far ahead or behind we are of the world record. A slight change here is keeping the camera high for this slip clip, allowing us to make it in one blink instead of the usual two. We then keep our sword out and use the saved blink to blink twice to the woman and steal her coins. We have a slight pathing change at the start of Galvani taking a shortcut through the kitchen, which honestly I'm surprised was not implemented earlier. very minor change is jumping over these covered chairs here which stops you getting stuck which will happen if you try and vault them. This run beats Granny Rags to the door by the most significant margin I've ever seen.
A small optimization here is staying farther away from these ores when picking them up so that we don't need to avoid the book in between them. We're also going to add in an extra blink out of this cell, which we will save in just a moment. And here we save that blink, shooting these guards instead of blinking towards them. Although it may be hard to tell from the video, I cannot emphasize how difficult that distillery segment was to record. An optimization here, which I'm surprised we haven't implemented earlier, is jumping after picking up the rune and before upgrading so that we don't lose our speed. I then upgrade using the right arrow key and numpad zero key, allowing me to do it much quicker. One upcoming optimization will be vaulting a platform instead of climbing up onto it, allowing us to make it out of this room in one go. So we're coming up to probably the coolest new strat implemented in this mission, which is here, we're going to clip out of bounds and then simply blink over to the door to the kennels. As we were faster in clearing this downstairs room, a guard will now be blocking the doorway upstairs, so we have to sleep dart him. Now, instead of blinking out of this room, we save the blink for upstairs. I blink across here. Due to our speed in the previous split, we now have to wait slightly for the mana to regen at the start here. We will then save in two blinks by not blinking out of there and allowing one to regen. Another small optimization is not unleaning after clipping this safe. Unleaning there loses time as you have to do it whilst walking backwards, so not unleaning allows us to keep moving as if we haven't lost time to being sticky leaned at all. Another silly strat is not sliding here, as sliding gives you sideways momentum which we don't want, so not sliding allows us to be more controlled in that crouched area. And then, probably the biggest time save in the split is Sambal, which YPB did not get.
And so, at the end of mission one, we are a monstrous minute 27.57 ahead of the world record. Just how much more are we going to be able to save?